Where I'm from. 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 A joint production of GPB Augusta and the Greater Augusta Arts Council. Where I'm From is a 20-part series that profiles legendary performing artists who built their careers on a foundation that took its form in the neighborhoods, schools, and churches of the Greater Augusta area. Not only did these native Augustans achieve success in their chosen disciplines, they also chose to return to Augusta and give back to their hometown and the young artists who aspire to follow in their footsteps. So we need to get art back in back in our school. Absolutely. Abs without a doubt. It makes me absolutely crazy when we see that the arts are taken away, but we keep the football team. And I always try to say now, of course, we need children to exercise. We need those that want to, to play sports to do that. But it costs a great deal more money to have uniforms for a football team than it does for kids to sit in a classroom and learn to sing together. So yes. let's not pretend that it's a matter of money. It's a, it's a matter of putting emphasis where it should go. And my mother said that she cried every day, dropping these kids off. Because, I mean, J.B. Stoner was running around, the George Wallace was running around, the people were bombing things, they were, you know, burning crosses, you know. Right. And now I'm sending my child away to a place where there no black children have ever been before. Wow. White parents are pulling their children out of Episcopal Day School oh. because they don't want their children to go to school with black children. I mean, so my mom was like, what have I done? Is this the right decision for my children? I mean, I can't imagine like the pain that has to be. I mean, you know, like for right. a mom. It's like, uh. It's a very strong music program. I, what I remember most about it was having a very supportive band director, Mr. Butler, Harkness Butler, who's no longer uh, with us. But he, um, I think he may have indirectly given me something just in a few words that he would say to me all the time. Say, you can do it, Cliff. When I went to the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, I taught there for six years, they, the faculty is always encouraged to do research, and so it's like, I have a great idea. I'd like to submit it. I'd like to start training dancers using a high-speed video camera. And so I went, got a grant to do that, Wow. put together some research, worked with the students who were there. Because what I found was we had um, dancers who would come at college level who wanted to be blah, 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 fill in the blank about a fabulous dancer. Yes. But their foundation in ballet wasn't really as strong as it needed to be to carry mm -hmm. them through. And so I'm like, how can I uh, speed up their understanding and build, a, you know, secure a foundation for them? And I found that working with this video camera, high-speed video camera, and showing them back and forth the way that athletes train, you know, they always research, look at the game tapes, and, yes. and there's always feedback. Or the golf swing. The golf swing, yeah. exactly. Um, and so marrying that idea with the, the knowing that anybody, when you take a picture, you see a picture of yourself, you always remember what you were doing before you saw that picture. Mm -hmm. before, before you took the picture, what you were doing before, how did you get in line, what did you do afterwards? So expanding that idea and moving it to video means that uh, dancers can make that mind-body connection quicker and have and accelerate their technique. Where I'm From, the new series from GPB Augusta in collaboration with the Greater Augusta Arts Council, coming this fall to GPB Augusta.